We found a shotgun and a 22 rifle in there. And uh, those sold with the barrels and everything else for over $500 over in the, over the weekend. So I was all happy when I seen this model, 22 caliber revolver. treasures or trash we might find. Oh, well this is a good sign right on the top. Look at that. All metal. I don't know, I'm gonna say it might be American Flyer. With a watering tower. Look at another dude I'm finding here. Huh. Cool. Asian plate there. more of the guy's artwork. That's pretty cool. Let's say a submarine. Oh, a train, of course. He did love trains, that's for sure. And we got solid wood, pretty bad shape. Chest board. We're checkers, sorry. One fender. It says true scale. Things in here or not? Oh, a oh, horse, a little carousel horse. Uh, looks like uh, curtains, I guess. Little accent pieces. I mean. No rhyme or reason what they put in the bag here. Let's just see. So I'm going to assume it's a first aid kit, but with this guy, I can't assume anything. It's the <laughs> pet first aid kit. Because you don't know what your pet might need. The animal disaster team. I, I didn't even know there was an animal disaster team. But we might have to donate some money to that charity because it sounds like a good charity. What else is in here? Oh. Oh. My dog would love this. But he'd probably tear it up in about two seconds. He loves rabbits. There's something in here that's all wrapped nice. I mean, it looks like a picture frame, but. I always like to see what year, if I can find the year on the newspaper. See when they wrap this stuff. Nineteen eighty-three. Nice. So, put away in nineteen eighty-three to be forgotten about. Winter passage. Two boat pitchers. All right. Another dirty power strip. I can't tell you how many of these we found in this unit. Too bad we didn't find a bunch of Gibson guitars, just one. Oh, wow. Let's see another little hand drawn pitcher. Military style. So warship. And then I think we're gonna have records. No classical. Classical records. David Town. Hello country and new piano. Peter Narrow, everyone's favorite. This thing's just filled. It looks like more and more classical records down here. So, but once again, over on a reason for this locker, we found a train item in the bag, pictures, records, a power strip, of course, a pet first aid kit, some really cool personal drawings, and a brand new toy for my dog. So, who knows what else? I think we might have a box or two left. 
We'll look in those, see if we find any other treasures, and we'll go through some of the great stuff that we did find. So keep watching. Spent $50 on online only locker, and it's been one of the best lockers of all time. We've gotten everything from tools, tons and tons of trains. We got vintage instruments, the banjo, the Gibson, the violin. We also got all kind of cool antiques, collectibles, role playing stuff, Boy Scout stuff, military stuff. So it's been awesome. Here's a few things that I'm um, not sure if we uh, got to go through in the videos. A couple other things that I know we haven't seen. So I'm going to go through some of these things. I found this. I were cleaning out. This is in a bottle and garbage bag. So check this out. These are all metal figures for role playing. There's a bunch of horses and then the guys that go on the horses. Right in there. Very cool. This whole box is full of those guys and there's a little dinosaur there and a piece of a spaceship that's pretty sweet yeah that's right beard wonder and then i found this and it's an old fountain style pen new old stock so i had a 10.95 price tag back in the day on it makers of fine pens for over 150 years so, and then uh i know i found these new glue guns this cool model train too that the box is a little messed up on it but brand new never assembled in the box and then Josh he was digging through some stuff and he found these inside of a garbage bag and this is a nice 8H Wagner Sydney pan cast iron always worth money and then right here is another little Wagner cast iron and even though it's dirty crusty that cleaned right up oh absolutely the bitter wonder and i know too much about cleaning cast iron we cleaned a lot of it in our day yeah kind of that's for sure we did have that huge cast iron auction quite a while ago and this little trestle I'm nice that's probably american flyer and it is see right there nice and this is another little piece here probably gonna be american flyer yeah and i know i think we got the whole set I'm not That's sure pretty if you sweet. Ever looked at this box, Josh. But it had a bunch of the little end scale trains here. And all these little figures in here. That's pretty sweet. Different guys. Some like canes and waving and all that stuff. This whole thing's filled with little tiny figurines. And there's more little trains down here. We found the big water towers. And we got there's a mini water. guy. So, this guy liked all different size scale trains. Most times people only like HO scale or O scale or N scale or F scale. But he liked them all. So. And then I found this. What and is that? This looks like it's he made this own thing for his trains. So this looks like maybe a homemade piece. And different ones here. I'm not exactly sure how he had it all worked out, but they probably control different things. You push them down, you know, and they probably had lights and whistles and bells and who knows whatever else. That's pretty cool. But very cool little piece here. You can tell it's all homemade. This guy, he was an interesting character to say the least. Then, A lot of cool stuff come out of this so far. Oh, yeah, we found too many cool stuff. Yes, for sure. Everything from the glass insulators, antique, and on. And we found some more cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's all kind of cool things that we got out of here. So there's a little watercolor kit like this. This is a little brand new R Street and wood. So some kind of little tiny strips of color stuff. We got. Some old eagle stamps there. And these used to be at the grocery stores and things like that. You get stamps and money things. You have to get so many blocks. So, of course, a little cigar box. We found lots of those little things. This one had the little horses and cows in there. I think we showed this once, but more little tiny train stuff. And then this box over here. It was really cool. We found this, and the first thing I seen was this here, and I saw it said a revolver. So I grabbed the box and 
we already found the two we found a shotgun and the 22 rifle in there and uh, those sold with the barrels and everything else for over five hundred dollars over in the, over the weekend so i was all happy when i seen this model 22 caliber revolver nice box and oh wah 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 so not just, in there missing the revolver but we got the box very cool still piece. cool somebody out there has that gun will want that book with the box so but then I saw all these books in here, and I'm like, well, that box is there. And like I said before, storage lockers, no rhyme or reason. Got to search everything. Check every nook and cranny. And we're looking, I look in the books here. And I'm like, okay. Some cool books. Black arrow and stuff. But then I look underneath this book, and look at this, Josh. Right here. For the guns we already sold. Oh, bummer. Look at that. Barrel load, and this is yeah. The shells unfired. That's funny. And you got four boxes of full, full shotgun shells. That's too funny. Yeah, but as we know, sh shotgun shells, bullets are like money. Always worth something, and always easy to sell. And then I saw these in there. What's that? These primers are for use in Marshall Meteor Flash lamps for firing Marshall Meteor Flash powder only. Oh. So, there's a couple boxes of these old primers in there. And they're full. So right there in the bottom of this box of books. I mean, if that was in there, that would have made that box. But still, we got money, money, money. And uh, all kind of like cool things, like I said. This box here. Once again, more train stuff. I'm not sure if we got to see this box. We've seen so many different ones. This one had little things like craft train cars like this. Old timer cars of the good old days. And that one's made of wood. That's pretty cool. So look at that detail work on there. So like I said, this whole box is just loaded with these. So more train stuff, all brand new. Some not new, but a lot of this looks like it's all new. Silver Streak Deluxe Kit. Two little cars in there. No, I mean, look at this one. I don't know, this whole box is just filled with, like I said, trains. Another box full of trains, so. I mean, if I just got five bucks up here, box, I'd make my money back in this locker. And there's this box here. Look at that. These are all brand new wheels. Nice. Good trains, brand new. Whole box full. So, and more tobacco rolling machines. I think we found three of these total. But they always sell good in the auction. We always get 15, 20 bucks for these kind. The bigger ones we've gotten like 20 to 40 dollars before. Look at this old bag of marbles. Not that old, but still someone will buy it. And there's things like this in there, heavy base, magnetic clamps. You could use this for, you know, working on models all the way to his, you know, he did a lot of fly fishing stuff for tying flies. And, you know, just all kind of stuff. Look at this giant bullet. No, it's not a bullet, it's actually a lighter. Darn. But yeah, looks like a giant bullet. So, but we found tons and tons of cool stuff. And I'm sure after we finish going through everything and going digging through, we'll find even more cool stuff. And like this little wood saw right here. So the guy was a craftsman. You know, we found vintage stuff, all kind of stuff. The locker itself, easily worth over $10,000. Really going to depend on what the instruments sell for. It could put it to the $15,000 range or higher. It was a great locker. Lots of fun. I appreciate everybody watching this series. And if we find anything else, we'll uh, report it to you guys. But like I said, thanks again. Very cool stuff. And we have 
enjoy bringing this locker to you.